I'm Amanda Leatherman here with Ted Forrest at the final table of the Bay 101 Shooting Star. Ted, you must be so excited. You came back from a fairly short stack yesterday, right? Yeah, on the third day I was short stacked for six or eight hours. Um, I was against uh, Joe Seabach, Jeff Madsen, uh, David Williams. They all had like million dollar chip stacks and I'm sitting there with two or three hundred thousand. Uh, I've never folded as many hands in any tournament as this one. Just they were so aggressive, I just had to keep folding uh, and waiting for a double up opportunity, which luckily enough came, and when I got a few chips, I uh, could play a little bit more more normal. Yeah, Joe kind of single-handedly gave you a lot of chips yesterday with two pots, am I right? I, yeah, I did, uh, I actually raised in, the first time I got out of line all day, I raised in with queen three, um, and Joe just called with uh, ace jack, I think, because I had been playing so tight, he felt like maybe he should just call, see what happens. Flop came queen, jack, little, queen, jack, four, I think. Uh, so I bet, Joe called. Uh, nothing came on the turn, I bet again, Joe called. And the board paired fours on the end, and now I'm thinking, I'm thinking that Joe has a jack, but it also makes my bet safer with a queen because I didn't think he had king, queen, or ace, queen. So I was able to bet when the board paired fours, thinking I either have a jack beat or we're gonna split it with a queen, if he has a queen. Right, and he had ace, jack, and that was about a $250,000 pot that helped out a lot. Yeah, that pot was actually more than two hundred fifty thousand. Really? Um, yeah, it was close to four hundred thousand. Right. The uh, other pot was two fifty then, right? Yeah. Because it was another one. Yeah. Oh yeah, there, another pot against Joe. I had raised in with two tens. Right. Joe came over the top of me uh, for eighty thousand with king ten. Um, you know, he's representing a big pair or ace king, something like that. Um, now the flop came deuce three queen, and Joe bet basically bet me all in, uh, and I decided that I had the best hand and, and called, so I doubled up there. Do you think this final table is one of the toughest you've been at? I mean, you do have J.J. Liu and James Van Alstyne. This final table is interesting. Uh, I think James Van Alstyne having position on me might, might be uh, the biggest danger. It seems like he always defends his blinds. James is a tough, tough player. He doesn't always defend his blinds, but he seems to find the right situ situations. Who's, who's the biggest threat? biggest threat in my mind is James Van Alstyne even though I have him out chipped uh, I would prefer to have position on him. Okay well what is this WPT gonna mean to you if you win? Well uh, it's my fourth WPT final table uh, I came in fifth in my first one fourth and then second so I keep improving my position I got a good feeling about this one. Yeah maybe this is your win. Well I hope so. All right well good luck. Thanks Amanda. Right. I'm Amanda Leatherman with PokerWire.com.